There's a corner of Sunnyside which is not seen by many people and it's here in the Winnie's allotments. Now, for some years, three of the allotments here were derelict, but there's a scheme now taking place which is to restore these allotments and to make them into a community garden. And I've got here Brenda Corton, who is actually the person who is uh, responsible for getting this scheme up and running. Brenda, Hello. do you want to tell us about uh, what yes. this scheme is all about? Um, <coughs> I work for Community Integrated Care, which is a company who um, is a not-for-profit organisation who supports people in the community. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Winnie's is for three gentlemen uh, with learning disabilities. We have 13 allotments on um, the, the, at the back of the property. Ten allotments are rented out to local people in the community. And what we found was that we had three dere derelict um, allotments and um, we decided to uh, redevelop them and make them available for people with disabilities to use in the community. Right. So what plans have, have you actually got for the actual the three allotments? Well, we are, we've been trying to redevelop them um, in the last year. We have the support of the probation team, um, who are very, very good. Without their support, we couldn't um, survive. We, we, we do need their support um, and as you can see from the allotments they've done quite a lot of work. The, um, the allotment project is called SIGN and that is for Social Inclusion Gardening Network yeah. and we want it um, up and running for anyone with a disability to have the opportunity to take part in this project where they would have their part of the allotment to cultivate vegetables or do whatever they wanted to do. Um, a lot of it is social interaction where people would um, come and be involved if they wanted to come and sit and have a coffee or pot a plant or you know have a greenhouse to um, to sow their seeds but it would be anything that they would like to do right but you're looking for help and volunteers from residents of Sunnyside as well we aren't you? Are. we're desperately looking for volunteers because um, at the moment it's um, um, we need to plant bulbs and different things like that so we do need to have the help of um, people in the community that would be interested right. in supporting this project right. What about your funding? Where's that coming from? The funding we have raised so far just over um, £16,000. Um, we have made about £6,000 ourselves, the staff at the Winnie's and other staff in the other homes that CIC support. And um, that's with car boot sales, fundraising nights, tabletop sales, um, anything where we can make any money. Uh, the others, um, I apply to um, charitable trusts. Uh, Gateshead Council has have been very, very good. They've um, uh, supported us with funding over £4,000. Um, but as I say, we um, I apply to charitable trusts uh, to see if they can support us and what we're trying to achieve. Right, okay. Well, good luck with the project, and uh, hopefully uh, in the very near future we'll have a, an excellent community garden here. Well, I and think so. uh, I'm looking forward to uh, coming back to it when it's uh, fully restored. Right. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you. Thank you.